Today I will teach you how to uh, build MRP table when we use the FOQ method to determine the order lot size. What is FOQ? FOQ means fixed order quantity. It means the number of order quantity is the same, is not changed during the period uh, of time. It's fixed for all period of time. So, for example, this uh, problem, they give us some information that they use FOQ to determine the order size and the beginning uh, inventory is 100 units. The lead time is two weeks. So it means when you make order until uh, when you receive the products is two weeks. And the safety stock is 10, 10 units. EOQ here is the order quantity. This one is given in this case that is 700 units. So whenever we make the new order, we will make order with the quantity 700 uh, units. So in this case, uh, it's already given, but if it's not given yet, we will use EOQ to calculate. But this one is already given, so we just take this number, 700, and the same for safety stock. It's 10 units. And here, the schedule receive, what is schedule receive? It means the products you already make order, but the supplier hasn't delivered the products to you yet, and they will deliver it to you in the future. So we call it the schedule receipts. And here we have the schedule receipt. The products we will receive in week 6 is 200 units. So we already make the order, but the supplier hasn't delivered to us yet, and they will deliver 200 units to us or in week 6 and we have the requirement that we need to deliver 900 tables to the customer in week 8 800 tables to the customer in week 6 and 500 tables in week 4 so here, how can we fill this MRP table? So here is MRP, right? Here, schedule receive, we know that in week 6, right? In week 6, we will receive 200. So I will put here, in week 6 is 200 here. Okay. The second information is the beginning inventory so now i have 100 in the warehouse 100 tables in the warehouse so in week one uh, nothing happened so i still have the same inventory that is 100 same for week two and week three so i have in week three i have 100 uh, tables in inventory however the gross requirement, it means I have to deliver 500 tables to the customer in week 4. So I like her product, right? I, can, I like her uh, 400. So it means I will need to receive the new order. Sorry. I will need to receive the new order in week 4. So I will plant receive here and we will order with a fixed quantity that is 700. So I plan to receive 700 here. So when I plan to receive 700 units in week 4, how much do I have in our uh, inventory in week 4? So I have 100 left in week 3. Plus what I receive in week 4 minus the requirement 
It means the total products I have to deliver to the customer in week 4. So minus 500. So I will have 300 tables left in the warehouse. Okay. In week 5, I don't receive anything. I also don't need to deliver anything yet. So the warehouse, the inventory in the warehouse still equal to 300. Continue. So I have 300 in week 5 and I will receive 200 for the schedule receive here in week 6. So total I have 500. However, I have to deliver 800 tables to the customer in week 6. So I do not, I do not have enough tables to deliver to the customers. Therefore, I plan to receive another batch of products in week 6 and with the, with the fixed quantity that is 700 okay so after I receive 700 in week 6 what I have in inventory I have 300 tables in week 5 plus 700 I plan to receive plus the schedule received and minus what I have to deliver to the customer that is 800 so I have in inventory left is 400 in week 6 so in week 7 I do not do anything so I still have 400 left in the warehouse okay so in week 8 i have 400 tables in the warehouse but i have to deliver 900 tables so i do not have enough products so i plan to receive another batch of products here that is 700 so we can see after we receive 700 in week 8 how much we have in the inventory we have 400 in week 7 plus 700 we receive in week 8 minus the total uh, products we have to deliver to the customer that is 900 so we have left in inventory in week 8 is 200 items so here we can see here we make order three times and they are fixed equal to 700 so that's why we have this method the order loss side is fixed order quantity okay so to receive 700 in week 4 when we have to make the new order in week 3 week 2 or week 1 which three oh sorry week two because the lead time is two weeks so i have to make order in week two so that two weeks later that is week four i will receive the products the same for week six to receive 700 units in week six i have to order i have to make order in week four because the lead time is two weeks the same here in week 6, I have to make another order. So what is con our conclusion here? We will start order 700 tables in week 2. And in week, maybe I will write it here. In week... Two. we make order of 700 table in week four we receive seven 
hundred tables and make order, make new order of seven hundred tables. Okay. In week five, do we need to do anything? No, right? So in week six, we receive. 700 tables and another 200 table for a previous order and make a new order of 700 tables and in week 8 we receive 700 tables in week 4 after we receive what we have to do we make we delivery deliver 500 table to the customer and in week six we deliver we deliver 800 tables to the customer and we in week eight we will Deliver 900 table to the customer. So, MRP help us know that what we have to do or what kind of activities we have to uh, carry on in each week. Okay. So that is how you use uh, FOQ in MRP.